Hello. So this is going to be a Facebook Live on doing one of these cups, teacher cups. So um, we were trying to do it in one of our Tumblr groups and it um, won't work that way. And then I don't have enough subscribers on YouTube to do it on uh, live on YouTube. So if you're not interested in doing Tumblrs, stop watching now. <laughs> Um, so ladies that are in the, or guys, that are in the group, um, the Tumblers for Beginners, um, this is, this is for y'all. And, uh, so I will film this and, um, edit it and put it on my YouTube channel, uh, for a tutorial, um, later. But I wanted to get this out here. There were so many people interested in it, so... Um, basically what you do is you start with your um, tumbler and you base paint it uh, white matte and use just everything everybody else is using is the um, Rust-Oleum uh, brand and um, so I don't didn't use an SVG uh, for this I uh, just um, edited squares to make the lines and the little circles um, and then I used the comic I will show you here uh, let's see I was getting it ready to, to cut for y'all um, so let's see cancel that. I already printed this out. This is going to be um, for someone. I can't show you who because, well, she, I don't know if she's on my Facebook or not, but anywho. Um, so we're going to move that so you can't see it. Uh, let's see here. Let me just hide that. Let's see what I use the Comic Sans uh, font for this which is kind of, um, I thought it was really cute. It's backwards, I know, because I have my, um, using my phone. But the tutorial will be the other way around, so it won't be all backwards. Um, so first of all, what I did is I made the lines. So you go in and you take, we're in Cricut Design Space, and under Shapes, and you get a, sh a square, unlock it and you're going to make it um, you're going to just stretch it and make it um, a line and I will take these off here put these back and my lines are um, width is 11.4 and the height was 0 0.1 and that was uh, just perfect to make these lines for this cup to make it look like no but pick notebook paper um, and so I will unhide all of these let me back out so I made seven this is the um, the hog uh, 30 ounce um, the new shape you know that uh, doesn't have that that uh, definite dip in it because these are so hard to put uh, decals on although with this, it wouldn't be that hard because you would just skip um, that part and make it around it. Um, and this, this line is not difficult at all. And so let me, I will unhide all of these. Okay. So, I made seven lines. Um, that's what fit on this tumbler. What you'll have to do is um, you will measure how tall your tumbler is. So each tumbler obviously is going to be a little different, and this one is seven and a half. Um, I went um, approximately one inch from the top to start my first line, and an inch after that. And so how I did that, a lot of ladies were asking oh my goodness, how did you get those lines so straight? I have no extra voodoo. Um, <laughs> a 
all I did was take a pencil and um, every inch I made the tiniest little dot and then I moved over um, a little bit and then it did the same thing and made a mark at each inch and I did that all the way around the cup um, that way I had a guide for when I laid my first strip and I make it to the next dot and I would make it to the next dot. And you have to um, make sure you're, you're gonna decide whether you're gonna put it right on the middle of the dot or the top or the bottom. And that way you can do that all the way around and it makes it really straight. Um, the same, and this, the red one, the red line, I believe it's the same size, let me see here. No, it's, um, so because you turned it um, vertical, the, width is going to be 0 0.096, 0 0.096, and the height is, the height is 7.373, um, and that's to make the, the red line of the notebook paper. And then your circles, let's see, your circles are going to be 0 0.4. And I made mine out of silver. Um, I thought the black was too stark, and so I made mine out of silver. And it, it, it made it look kind of nice. And then, uh, obviously, my lettering is black. All of this is permanent vinyl. And for the pencil um, over here, let's see. I had two that I was going to choose from. Let's see. Okay, so for the pencil, um, this is a print and cut. So you take, I did mine out of sticker paper. And so you take your sticker paper and you run it through your printer uh, after you've designed this on Design Space and um, put the name on there. What I did was I um, took some te a text box and used the same comic font and wrote, uh, typed out his name. And then um, the pencil, my pencil is four, inch, four inches long which um, will automatically size it to 0 0.586. And then for the name, um, I just sized it accordingly. I laid it over the pencil on, on Design Space and um, made it according to size. And you'll see if you do the, um, uh, I just, honestly, I said there was no SVG for this, but there is an SVG, free SVG pencil online. I just Googled it and ended up with this one. I had another one too um, that's real cute. It's three pencils um, with an area in the middle um, to put a name. Here, I'll put it down here and we can, we can zoom in. Um, don't know if you can see that really well, but it, uh, it's super cute too, where it's three pencils and then um, if you see in this middle part, that's where you would put, uh, I keep forgetting my new computer is a uh, touch screen. <laughs> so in the, in the middle here, that's where you would put uh, Mr. Smith, Miss Jones, or whoever your teacher's name is. Um, so back up to this pencil now, this, like I said, is a print and cut. You put your sticker paper in and print it out. And then once you print it out, you're going to take, I take my less um, tacky mat, my light grip mat, and put my sticker paper on it. Um, it just, it doesn't seem to hold the sticker paper like the uh, standard mat so that it doesn't, doesn't uh, make it roll up and things when you have to pull it back off. So you just put it on here. So I've pulled it from the printer. And in here, um, let me hide these things back again because I really only want to cut, 
I really only want to cut my lines, um, but I want this, I want the pencil to go ahead and get cut on the Cricut. So I hit, uh, I click make it, and this is going to take you to your, um, okay, just making sure everything's good. So you're going to put this on your mat like this, and then you're going to put it in your Cricut, your cutting machine. And so it's in your machine. You're going to click continue, and it says send to printer. I've already printed. So before I put send to printer, but I've already printed it. So I'm going to click on I've already printed, and it will go ahead and skip to your next um, choice and sticker paper, because we're using sticker paper. And so click on that, and then your loading button is um, flashing on the Cricut. So we're gonna, we're gonna press that, and um, what it does is scans the, um, it makes a box around what you printed, and scans that to let you know let the machine know where um, your pencil is so it knows where to cut. And um, I'm going to have a better setup next time. I kind of just threw this together because a bunch of people online are like, do it, do it. I don't have enough subscribers on my YouTube, so I have to get, I think, a thousand subscribers. So everybody subscribe. Hospice Nurse 88 so that I can get on YouTube. I have a channel, I just don't have enough people. Used to, back before February, anybody could do a live, but now you have to be part of this elite thousand member club or something, I don't know. So, um, I just don't know that many people who are interested in watching me jabber on and on. Um, I know I used to because I did some when I was camping. Um, so, all right. So it has gone around its margin, now it's cutting the pencil out. It takes literally just a minute to do that because it's just straight lines. Um, more intricate things like the wording that we're going to do here in a minute, it's going to take a little longer for it to cut. Um, but I do have a cup ready uh, with my three coats of matte white um, Rust-Oleum. And I, I put my lids in a just a grocery sack tie it off and put it into my cup when I'm painting so that uh, no paint gets on the rim. So now I don't have anything on the rim that I need to clean off. Okay, and then I have a stash of lids down here, all my lids to all my little cups are all lined up in a little basket. Um, so it's done. Oh, I forgot to reflatten it. Okay learning so if you forget to flatten it it's going to cut out the mrs part too darn it now i gotta reprint it um no big deal no big deal other than the fact that my printer decided that it was you know crazy as soon as i started trying to print all these things yeah it decided that we're going to say that you have a paper jam every time you try to print so, funny story, I got to a point where I took that thing, I picked it up, and I started shaking it because it kept saying I have a paper jam, and I didn't have a paper jam, so closed out the doors, picked it up, and I was shaking it. Well, a little screw, teeny tiny little screw fell out. So I thought, oh, it didn't have a paper jam, it had a screw jam. Um, so anyway, that came out, but it still says it has paper jam. So, a little Texas Ingenuity. I, if you tilt it up, it works. And so, I have it propped up with um, stacks of paper. And everybody cross your fingers that this prints because, of course, you're doing a live program. We're going to cancel this. And it says, do you want to cancel your cut? Yes, we want to cancel our cut. And we want to go back to our canvas. So I'm going to click on this pencil, and you attach it, and then you flatten it. Um, 
So that makes it all one piece. Flattened means it's just it's going it's all in one piece, okay? Uh, it's flattened onto the paper. So excuse me while I get down to my printer, which is under my desk. take all these papers out. And uh, talks amongst yourselves. Alright, I hope the people that really wanted to watch this actually were, are able to get on. Um, but like I said, I will film this and edit and post it. Um, let me see, somebody's wanting to, oh. I guess people think I look like, or you, uh, Facebook thinks I look like Betty Curran, which is a very good compliment, because it says tag Betty Curran, and I'm the only person in the video, so. Um, yay, Betty, we're twins. All right, let's see what happens here. So, to ease my frustration, my husband said get a new printer. I will mess with this thing. He will not. He says get a new one. All right, so, make it, continue, and send to printer. Oh, I got to plug the printer in. Uh -oh. Okay, printer is now plugged in. Send to printer. Now, one of the options on here is add bleed. You want to do that when you're doing um, uh, little things like this. Like, like I printed her, this is going on a cup that one of my friends ordered, um, little LOL doll. So I put bleed on so that when it cups around there, around her, um, there's a little uh, ink bleed around so if it cuts off if it's off just a little bit you're still gonna have color uh, where it cut where it cut um, and also with these watercolors if you put bleed on it makes it look more like um, an actual watercolor isn't she cute she's gonna go on a cup she's gonna go on a uh, white cup with white glitter and uh, rose gold glitter coming up, and then she's gonna be on there. Uh, she's super cute. All right, printer, go. So for this, I want crisp lines, so I'm gonna take the bleed off. I do not want it a bleed on there because I want a crisp line. So we're gonna hit print. Cross our fingers that it prints. So, I will have to go back later and see who all's, uh, who all's on here, unless I can look on here now. I don't know if I can watch myself. Is that possible? Oh, look, there's me. So, if I play this, am I going to hear myself echo? Because I can't read your comments, really. It says, you and Betty are both beautiful. Oh, thanks, Jen. All right, it's not printing. It's thinking, it's thinking. So, who wants a tour around the room while we're waiting for this to print? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Oh, it's printing. Yay! Okay, so flattened it and got it print, printed out on the sticker paper. So we're gonna put it on our mat and push go go back to Cricut space design space and we sent it to the printer oh yeah excuse me For some reason the internet up here is janky and so I'm, I, my machine is wireless but um, the internet is, I don't know. So 
I have to plug it in. So it's plugged in. We're going to say find machine and um, there we go. We're going to set the material. We're going to set the material to sticker paper again. And hit go. And allow that to cut. There we go. Let's see. Two comments. What the heck? Okay, so there's just two of us. That's okay. All right, now it's it's reading those margin lines, those black lines we were talking about. And as soon as it reads those margin lines, uh, it will then cut the pencil out. So, hi Ray. Uh, Ray, did you see Rob's water bottle yet? I sent. He took it with him. I didn't. I don't think he went. I think it was just he and Roy this this time, but. I made him a water bottle that looks like a uh, piece of wood and it has a deer in the crosshairs on one side and on the other side it says you can't kill him from the couch. You'll have to see that. Okay, so we're printed and we're cut. So by flattening that, attaching it and flattening it, it made it um, that it didn't cut out the words. Um, it just cut out the little pencil and we will put that on here in just a minute. We want to put our lines on first. Um, I want to do that on this other mat. design space and the next cut it wants to make are the circles and so I save all my scraps when I print when I cut things out I save all my little scraps because this one little piece of scrap that may have gotten put in the trash cut three circles out for them out of their cup here so you never know just keep all those little scraps you just have to make sure where you're putting it on your mat matches where it's going to cut on this mat on the computer. So that's why this fit. So these are less than an inch, I think. I think this will work and I can get three more circles out of here. We shall find out. Okay, so then it number two came up and so this will be number two cut. And it's the circles. And you feed that in your machine. This does not have the margin. This just goes by what's on the mat here. This program, the circles, tells it that you've got your um, vinyl in there for it to cut the circles. Um, Gail, I've never done a cut before, so I'm learning from the beginning. Great. Okay, good. So, I, Gail, I don't know, did you hear that I already had this prepped with three coats of um, matte white uh, Rust-Oleum. All right. So, uh, cut out the three, three um, circles on here. That's cutting too much. Okay. So, what we're going to do, it's cutting a little much for me here. Let's change this to premium vinyl on here now. Okay, so there's our circles. And Gail, I was also saying, keep all your little scraps because this little scrap that probably would have gotten in the um, trash has now cut out six circles. So um, keep all your little scraps. I keep them in a, um, I have a, I'll show you all in a minute, but I have a, a rolling cart that I did not pay $30 for. I paid $8.99 at Ross, and it works fantastic. All right, so our next cut, Gail, is gonna be um, on the red, and that's gonna be our, our red line 
here. We've cut our circles out, we've cut our pencil out, and now we're on to the red line. I use these paper towel tubes to keep these all my vinyl in, and I have a decorative basket over here uh, that I keep all my vinyl in. So on here, it'll tell you where it's going to cut on your vinyl, and I've already got one of uh, these cut out, and to save vinyl, I'm going to go up here. Uh, I can't move it now, but earlier I could have moved it, so I'm just going to turn my turn my vinyl. But I could have moved it um, anywhere I want on the mat, on the computer, so that it will cut. Like if I wanted it to cut down in the right hand corner, I could have moved it on there to the right hand corner, and it would have cut. Um, it would have cut down here. So it's going to cut up here, which is fine. We'll let it. Okay, so then it goes in your machine. And you hit that. And excuse me, I'm going to have a little drink. It's water. <laughs> You never know with me. All right. This was the very first thing I ever did. When I got my Cricut and my vinyl, this is HTV, and I put it on here. It's really the only thing that has stayed. I had my name on it and everything. Everything else is falling off. But I didn't know what I was doing, so. Okay, so it has, you cannot see it because it is so small, um, but it has cut our red line out. And we're going to take that off. Set that aside. We've got our circles. We've got our red line. We've got our pencil. I'm going to push my printer back under the table. Y'all, I'm moving rooms. My kids are all moved out. So I have two rooms up here. I thought I'd take the smaller one. It's not working out. You want to work efficiently, right? So you can get more stuff done. All right, so now we're on to our blue here. Again, there's seven lines, and they're 11 point something inches across. So this is, was 12 by 12 paper. So we're gonna lay that up at the top. And on the, over on the canvas, uh, before I started it, it you don't group them like you would normally do um, Hey from Alabama Carol uh, So I didn't group them so that they would all be closer together on the vinyl uh, This is one of those things where you do you don't want to group everything because you want it to maximize your your the space on your vinyl Okay, so I'm gonna put that in our Cricut and we're going to let that cut. And then we're going to get to the tedious part after we print our um, words. So, a handy dandy basket of scraps. And I'm going to pick one out of here that the words are all going to fit on. It'll fit on this. and transfer paper. So I use this, I think I got this years ago at Dollar Store for something. It's peel and stick by the people who make um, duct tape and it works just fine. And you know, honestly it didn't cost me that much because I bought it so long ago that I don't remember where and I don't remember how much, but I do believe they have this at the dollar store and it works, it works great. And it was a huge roll too. So it's last, it's gonna last me a very long time. I did have some Cricut um, and it works great, but I had this stuff already on the shelf, so why not use it? And speaking of scraps, um, you don't even know how much stuff is on here. I have a name, I have a little Alamo, I've got all kinds of stuff on here that, um, that uh, 
for different projects. So I stuck it all on one piece. I'll do that for my sticker paper too. Uh, if I have several projects to do that I have stickers for, um, this actually is a water slide, but um, these others are stickers. And so I just placed them on the canvas on here, um, fit them just right so that I could print them all on the uh, same sticker paper. All right, there are our blue lines. So y'all, you know, it's, it's like a rule that because I'm doing this live, I'm so gonna screw this up. But, say lovey. Oh yeah, we have words, y'all. Um, okay, forgot to leave the words on my canvas here. So, let's hide all of this. We don't want any of this to print. We want all of that to print. All the words there. So what I'm doing if you're new to Cricut is I'm just clicking on these little eyeballs over here and now you see it, now you don't kind of a thing. We're going to take our circles away. We've already cut those. Um, I should have had the words uh, on there but I forgot because I was talking about that pencil. Okay, so on here, this is 5.021 wide and 5.478 long. So it needs to be bigger. I may have to cut a new piece. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cut a new piece. That's okay. These, like I said, I use these for everything. So um, I'll just grab another piece here, which is also a scrap, but it's just a bigger scrap. Uh, all righty, we're, we're almost ready to rock and roll. Let's get these cut out and then we're gonna work on, uh, oops, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Can't be off the mat because it jams it up. So we'll have to turn it this way. It can hang off the bottom. It cannot hang off the sides. Okay. All right. And make it. And it'll show you what it's going to print. If that's not correct, you're going to go back to your canvas. You're going to push cancel and go back. And let's say you forgot to group it and attach it. So the word's going to be, it will fit it more efficiently up on the top so that you don't um, overuse your vinyl. But group it and attach it so that it, it's all um, how it's going to go on the cup. And then we're going to choose our premium vinyl and push our go button over here on the Cricut. And hello, Terry and Terry. We push to go. All right. Also, I wanted to go back. This is what we're making. Um, we're making a notebook paper, notebook paper cup for a teacher, my grandson's teacher, uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, that actually, Mr. Smith is my granddaughter's teacher. She's very excited that she has a, a man teacher. She, it's new to her. She's, she's just all about it. So she's very interested on how that's gonna work out. She is eight and she's, she just, she's fascinated. Um, we told her it's really not any different than having a girl, but you know, she's, it's new for her, so she's she's looking forward to that. Um, this, I'm debating on doing a tutorial on this one. 
Um, you can't really see it. The lighting in here is not really great. Um, you can't see it there either. Anyway, it's got yellow glitter all over. It's really pretty. This is going to be a gift for a friend. Um, it's going to be a Beauty and the Beast peekaboo cup. Um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to do more than one layer. I'm going to try a yellow layer, spray it, red layer, and a green layer to make um, she'll be on one side, but the rose with the falling petals will be on the other side. I don't know. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. Um, so this is the longest part, cutting the words out. Hopefully it doesn't screw it up and I get all the words cut out nicely. Sometimes for whatever reason, you know, it's machinery, so it'll mess up a letter or something. I usually lose the dots to the eyes. Hopefully we won't. If not, we're going to pretend we have them. And we will move on. Put this in my sticker scrap because I can print something else on here. Um, I just, I usually just keep turning it in my printer to use up every corner and then I cut it and then I've got the center. I can put that in the printer too. Um, I try to be pretty resourceful. Resourceful? I don't even know how to say that. Anyway. Um, Oh, I wanted to show y'all these carts if you're interested. I don't even know if you're interested or not, but um, so you know the $30 carts at Michael's. Um, I really wanted one, but I don't want to pay $30. So I was at Ross and they had these for $8.99. And the other good thing is um, they fit right under my table. I mean, just perfectly. Like, it's not having, I'm not having to squeeze it in there. It was just perfect. And I got two of them. Um, I thought I was getting a third one, um, but it is uh, taller. So I just stick it over here and it's got um, baskets in it for my scraps and my um, transfer paper and all of that. See, there's my home for my printer, and it's all propped up real pretty. Um, but this this room is, is tight quarters, uh, which I thought would work well, but it's just not. It's just not working well. Um, so I'm going to move to the other room, and I'm going to build a totally different table because I like the stand. And so I got, one of the, I got two of the nine, uh, nine cube organizers excuse me they're 36 and some change inches tall and you can stand and because I like to stand when I'm doing my glitter I, I don't I don't like to sit and do my glitter I can't really see what I'm doing um, so I usually stand up and that table is going to be um, a lot more useful doing that Plus, it gives me a lot more of these cubicles to work with and, and stash stuff. And the room's bigger. I'm not going to have to squeeze by the table. I'll be able to walk around um, easily. All right, there's our letters. Cool. Looks like it cut out very well. Um, I'm going to take this off. finish I'm basically done with all of that now we put the now we're gonna put the cup together so this this is the part that takes um, the longest and uh, trying to fix all this here so I can close it I'm not going to need it. Okay. So that's it for that part of it. Um, so I will just save this for later to do another cut. I've already got, my husband saw this one and he already ordered one for somebody. Um, so 
Now we cut this where the words are. And uh, what I did was I took each line because it's going to be, the measurement's going to be a little bit different uh, from on here, or I found that they were, so I, I needed to space it right. So I, I cut mine each line um, and used them all separately. And it looks like Cricut did a good job cutting these out. I'm so happy. But we'll see if we, hopefully we still won't lose any dots for our eyes. That is like my nemesis. I do it almost every time. I was real careful last night trying not to lose them. Okay, there's that. There's my circles. So what I did first is I put on my blue lines. my handy dandy measuring tape and I measured <clears throat> about an inch down from the top and I made dots all the way around so if you do the same measurement all the way around that's how your lines are going to be straight And I mean, I'm just making the littlest dot. And you're going to cover it with the, the um, vinyl anyway, so you're not going to, hopefully not going to see the, the little dot. And actually what I did is I went down and I did every inch all the way down. I think we're really only about 50 minutes into this and we're almost done. This is the fast part to be very honest. So it's it's not a difficult cut. Um, there's just, you gotta, the longest part was finding the font, um, figuring out how I'm gonna do my lines, which I just did a, a square from Design Space and, you know, kind of eyeballed how big the, the line should be um, and went from there. Let's see. What's everybody doing tonight besides watching me make dots on a cup? Mm. Alright. See, when I, I do my tutorial, I can cut all this out and y'all won't be bored to tears. Or, you can fast forward on those too which I do a lot. No offense to anybody out there who's made tutorials. I mean, come on. Sometimes there's things like this. You don't need to see me make every little dot. So please, fast forward. Um, unfortunately, y'all are watching live and y'all can't fast forward. You can go get something to drink because I have a few more dots to make all the way around. I'm almost there though. Almost there. Alright. So then I will um... Oh, the other thing. The other thing is um, up at the top 
11 and some inches aren't actually long enough, long enough to go all the way around on the top part. So, but don't, don't freak out because down here is smaller and so you're gonna have uh, long, this is gonna be too long for those. So what I did is I took those scraps and placed them up at the top and I'm hoping, I mean, you can't really tell, um, and I'm hoping that once it's epoxied and, and all that, you, you know, I guess type A personalities are gonna be like looking and going, oh, I see a little something there and a something there. But I mean, you really can't, I mean, it's not that big a deal, right? It's handmade, it's not gonna be perfect, right? So, hey, thanks for the subscriber on my YouTube, Hospice Nurse 88. All right. I put everything back where it belongs so I can find it later. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need these. I am going to need transfer paper in a minute, but um, I'm gonna get my lines on. I don't know why I keep squinting when I got my little cheaters right here. I forget. Okay. All right. I usually do this in my lap. So I'm gonna do, try to do it on the countertop here. I really don't wanna lay it down because I don't wanna scratch it. Um, that's why I usually lay it in my lap. There we go. And again, you're gonna take this and you're going to cover the little dots that you just made. You're not gonna be able to see them, but it's gonna keep you lined up all the way around the cup. This is a really fun cup because you see it coming together just so quickly. Like, I don't know how many of y'all do other crafts or arts or whatever, but part of that is, um, envisioning what you're doing and you really can see this come together as you're doing it it's, it's a lot of fun um, kind of like when you're doing um, your other cups and stuff once you get the um, the glitter on there you you can really see a lot of times um, your end result which keeps you motiv motivated to keep going so that you can get to the end and see what's what's up that line crooked. There we go. So, um, see how it doesn't match on the back, but that's okay. We're going to come back with, um, the scraps that are down here because this is going to be longer, um, because this is smaller around and we're going to use our scraps up here. Okay. And, uh. Let's see, what other cups am I working on? I am going to do, so this is for my granddaughter's teacher, or this one is actually. This one is for my granddaughter's teacher. Um, I'm going to make the infamous pencil tumbler for my grandson's teacher. Because, I mean, who wants to get the same cup that other people have, right? 
Um, and then I saw another one y'all shared on the tumblers uh, for beginners um, that I'm going to try and it had like protractors and things like that on it. I thought that was so creative and I'm so doing that. I'm so stealing that idea. I think it was awesome. We don't steal ideas. We encourage one another and we uh, motivate and inspire each other, right? We get inspiration from each other and and um, I don't understand sometimes why um, some people get so upset that um, somebody stole their idea when that is like the best form of um, uh, what what a, what a compliment, right? That somebody sees your your work, your art, and and wants to to try to do it. I mean, that's the whole whole point of um, going to these painting with a twist and things like that, right? I mean, you just you want somebody to help you and inspire you and motivate you to to do a certain thing. And honestly, y'all are all making the same painting, right? People are drinking different amounts of wine, but they're all making the same pain. All right, now we've gotten to the point where they're meeting together, and so you just have to make sure that they're going to line up and match so that you don't see where they meet, okay? And an expose marker would be adorable. What does that mean? Explain yourself. Hola, Lynette. I'm sorry, I can't call you Lynette. Um, what's an expose marker? April. April, are you a subscriber to my YouTube channel, Hospice Nurse 88? Heifer. Oh, he, he, he. I thought you said heifer. Oh, a dry erase marker. I have seen the markers, the Crayola markers. They're super cute. They're super cute. Um, Lynette, I actually have an uh, idea in mind for a cup for you. It's going to be a 30 ounce skinny, so it'll fit in your cup holder um, of your car. I know you're not in the car an awful lot anymore, but um, or you can just tell me what you want on it and I'll make you one. Free of charge because of your service and your friendship. For some reason, my lines went whack a do on this one side. Oh well, free hand it is. Uh, Hillary. I can do anything. Anything I can get off the internet, I can put on a cup. So let's say you like frogs. I can find a frog online and I can print it out. Um, some of y'all are coming in late. Um, but here's some examples. Like I'm going to put this on a cup and the top part's going to be white and then it's going to fade from the bottom it'll fade up from here it'll be champagne glitter fading up and um, and then she's going to be like right there um, and it's a water slide water slide is like a, a temporary tattoo and then i printed these off lol dolls for a friend of mine who ordered a cup for her daughter and um, so i got these off the line and i printed those out and they're going to go on a cup for her and this, this is where we get to the point where it's overlapping, but I need this extra to go up here. So I'm going to cut this and, um, and use it on the top. 
So I left just a little bit overlapping there. And I'm going to take this piece and line it up. with the top line. Make an it match. Okay. Almost done. Two more lines and then we'll we'll put the red line on, which I use I make this the back. Um which I mean it's I guess it's going to have a back and a front because um, the name sticker is going to go on this side. Um, uh, I like surprises too. Let's see. I could put some Hubba Bubba on it. I can find me a printout of Hubba Bubba. A little girl blowing bubbles. A little blonde girl blowing some bubbles. And her hair in a ponytail. So I am probably not going to epoxy on this video, but after we get everything said and done, like this one is, then um, I would put a flood coat of epoxy so that because, um, because this kind of sticks out, I like to do flood coats. It kind of saves some time later, so you're not putting... A thin layer and then another thin layer I just do a flood coat and my uh, finishes come out like glass and um, it saves me a little time somehow my lines I was talking and jabbering and not paying attention probably and so this one's longer then the space need, the space is so I'll, I'm going to cut it and, and probably use it on that next line. Okay. All right. The last uh, blue line here which is just above the, the little, uh, whatever you call that, the crease in the back. And what else? April, how are you? Are you doing well this evening? You chilling out watching this? You need to get busy designing me some more stuff. April's a great graphic designer. So I've got her in my hip pocket. We've designed a lot of stuff together. Um, April, go ahead and mention your, um, your group. If you're still on here okay one more little spot and that's what's neat about handmade stuff there none of them are no two are just alike so even if like I'm making myself and my best friend matching cups and I say matching they're gonna hers is gonna be her two favorite colors and mine's going to be my two favorite colors, but the saying on it is going to be the same. Um, so, you know, fraternal twins, not identical, is what I say. i got to fix this. I'm not happy with this top line here. There we go. That looks better. Sort of. 
Okay, now we have our lines on. And they turned out pretty straight. I don't know, I'm pretty picky. All right, so this is the back. So this will be the front. And I'm gonna put my, my red line right here. I like to be so that you can kind of see it when you're reading it. You can see that, oh, look there, you know, you can kind of still see the, the red line while you're starting to read it. Make my rose gold one. Oh, I will, Tori. Tori, did you decide what you wanted on it? Did we talk about that? a notebook paper your red line goes above the line and all the way down so that's how I measured that is I looked at a regular piece of uh, notebook paper and um, oh Whitney look we're making a teacher cup see Isn't it so cute? And then I have his name on the back. Okay, so now for our dots. I didn't lose them. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. There they are. Okay, so now our dots. Or our, our paper holes really and again I kind of looked at a, a piece of notebook paper to find out where to put the dots um, they're a little different than a piece of paper because of how many lines I had to work with so I just kind of went with what looked good Y'all, the message today at church was so good. You know, you always you hear lots of messages on using your talents and things like that. This was a little bit like that, but really it was um, um, using uh, what God gave you um, to help others, like to help others um, find. God and also um, to encourage the ones who have already found God to encourage them to um, stay faithful and uh, different things like that. Uh, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, Pierre Sage um, was the one who gave the message and I did Facebook Live that. So if you're interested, you can go over to, um, when you're done here, don't leave me now. When we're done, you can go over and um, look at that when you have time. All right, so now we get to weed all of our letters. And weeding means that you're gonna take off this excess um, vinyl, and when you pull that off, you'll be able to see your letters. Weeding, like you're weeding the yard, you're taking out everything you don't want. Oh look, I didn't lose the eye, the dot to the eye. If you were with me earlier, I was telling you how notorious I am for losing the dots to the eyes. <coughs> Again, this is a tedious part right here, and when I do my tutorial, I will fast forward or cut all of this out. Um, 
Again, I could not do a YouTube live because I guess in February they changed it and you have to have a hundred subs uh, thousand subscribers. And I think I have five. I mean, I'm not that interesting. But I would like to do more. So maybe I'll just sit one day and just do a bunch of tutorials and stick them on there and maybe people will come across them and watch them and um, I'll get more subscribers. I want to do more cups, obviously. And then um, I have some stuff on there about camping. It's been inc too incredibly hot to go camping. Uh, I do um, love to camp. Um, Right now, I'm trying to save my pennies and get an RV. But, right now, someone will just have to bless me with it because we have other stuff and we have a pool that decided that this year it needed to be resurfaced. I love my pool, but that is one of the big expenses that we've had. The only really big expense we've had having the pool but it's one of those things that cannot be put off when it's time it's time and um, it's getting real pitted at the bottom and boy that algae just really loves it um, so we're having to really scrub it and um, what is April saying April says they have other apps that might still do YouTube lives with Okay, check on it for me, April. Um, but I will do some more videos so I can get more videos up and more people to watch them and maybe get more subscribers. I don't know. Um, yay! I did another eye that I didn't lose. Yay! And what else can we talk about? while y'all are watching me mindlessly weed this stuff out. Feel free to leave and come back. <laughs> um, I have seven lines to do here, y'all. But basically, this is it. I'm going to put the words on, and that's it. That's all there is to it, to this cup. And then... Um, they both need, yay, didn't lose another eye. Um, they need their epoxy and, and uh, if the epoxy cures and it is smooth and, it, and I feel like it's thick enough, I will call it good and let it cure. Now, full curing is 72 hours. Um, after that, it, it's, it's much better. But 72, 48 to 72 hours, I can deliver these. Um, that's why it kind of takes long. I tell people um, two weeks because a lot of times it's much more involved than this, much more involved. Um, and people choose different things. Um, I do a, a, most of my cups are ombres. In other words, it fades from one color to another color. Um, those take longer. Um, only because I, I'm a stickler and I really have to have my fade look really good. Um, ombre. Uh, my grandson, grandson loves ombre and those, those are like his colors right now. He wants everything red and black. Um, fade. So that's for him. That's his water bottle to take to class. Um, he requested that and designed it and he's very imaginative he's very cre creative um, little kiddo um, I love to hear his ideas when he comes up here he really his mind just really starts moving and creating and which is wonderful I love it and hopefully when I move to the new room next door um, this room is smaller than that one, and I'm hoping to have a one of the corners um, dedicated for them where they can come in and paint or.
color or read a book or um, before I got this room with all my stuff that uh, I wanted in here I, there was a corner that was um, like that and they just kind of got their bean bags and um, laid there and watched TV or read a book and I just I really enjoyed having them in there with in here with me so that room's going to be bigger and um, I'll, I'll hopefully we'll have to have a space like that in, in one of the corners. It doesn't have to be big, uh, just, you know, enough to, I've got a little bitty table that I can put in the corner and they can sit at. Um, April says, I want one with the boy's hand and feet prints from when they were babies. Um, now they are men. Yeah, you know what you can do is um, scan them into a scanner and uh, send them to me and then we can um, print them and on stickers and we can put the stickers on and epoxy them and then there you go. And oh, the cup says teachers write on the hearts of their chill their students things the world will never erase. I love that saying. There's another one out there that's tweaked just a little bit, but it's basically the same thing. Um, that teachers write on the hearts of their students things that the world will never erase. I love it. Because I have teachers that were very impactful in my life. Um, who really, you know, loved me enough to be truthful with me uh, about some things. Um, and then there were many who have impacted me, you know, just being graceful with me and giving me mercy when I needed it too. Um, and we just have, we have to remember that little kids are not adults. Um, I think I put a saying like that on my Facebook page the other day. They are they are not just miniature little adults, and we need everything that they need. We have to teach them. They just don't know these things. Like you know, how did we figure it out? We were taught. Um, but I think a lot of times we get so busy, we feel we feel like, um, well, why don't they know this? Well. Because they, they need further teaching. They need more, more uh, understanding and more direction. And I'm sorry, but if you get anything from my house, it's going to have glitter on it. Even my um, husband's water bottle he takes to the deer lease has glitter. It's just a few specks. Okay, here we go, girls and boys. My husband's playing with his ringtones. I don't know if you can hear that. He's so patient and loving, and giving, understanding. I think I'll keep him. paper or our transfer paper if you will. Um, we don't need this or this getting in our way here. The less junk in the way the better off we are. That's like with life right there. Less junk more life. Something I don't know there's a saying in there somewhere. All right, so if you're still with me, putting this transfer paper on, then we're gonna put the words on, and we're done. And we'll be ready for epoxy. Epoxy is toxic. If you have autoimmune disorders, do not attempt to do that. I don't seem to have trouble with it. I did buy a mask 
that I use periodically when I'm doing a lot of cups. I have this that I wear and I open the window and I have the ceiling fan going. Now, that being said, uh, this room is upstairs so it does tend to be a little warmer which is good for epoxy. I really have to monitor the temperature up here because if it gets too cold, the epoxy does not cure right and it, and it gets bubbles. And then when I come in the morning, I want to pull my freaking hair out because I left that cup looking beautiful. Come in, it's got fish eyes. So, that's the other thing about changing rooms because of the way I had to set up my cup turners are on this wall back here and the vent is up there and if I don't have the thermostat up here on 98 that thing blows cold air onto my turners um, I thought about moving them but then I was like heck let's just move rooms because that's not difficult it's going to work out better in the other room. I'm so excited. Alright. Getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Go get a drink. Drink some water. And I almost choked. <clears throat> Okay, what else can we talk about? Kids. Let's talk about kids. I have two beautiful daughters. Very mature, growing, just more mature every day. Gave me fits a few years ago. Well, I'll tell you what. I was a drinker. save all these bits that come off of here because once I pull this off and put this on the cup um, I will reuse this transfer paper um, April you can come over and help me design the room layout could you do that please I can just video call you if you're not feeling well y'all my sister has a autoimmune disorder and she's she has really um, I've seen lately in the last few weeks, she has really just figured out how to pace herself so that she can do things that she likes. Um, so that's been good. It's been good to spend time with her, her to get out of the house. All right. bonus is my brother-in-law gave me a bunch of vinyl. I have vinyls, vinyl for days. Alright, one more. And then we're going to work on placement. That's I don't know. I, I don't know if there's really anything hard about this cup other than maybe doing that. Um, I have people in my life, I won't mention, you know, who they are that I reared. I'm, did I say that? Maybe it's my daughters, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I have type A people in my life. Those are just two of them. That I, I hear their little thoughts in my head when I'm doing stuff like this because they're going to be those people that look at this and say oh my gosh that letter is not sitting on the line it's a creation it's handmade there's going to be a little specialties here and there 
to each one. Just like us. We are God's creation, but we all have special things about us that make us unique. Some of us has freckles, some of us don't. Um, for sure. Yeah, you can um, You painted all night last night. That means that you paced yourself at some point. Um, that's awesome. I'm very excited for you. I know that that really makes you feel good mentally and <clears throat> all that to get to be creative. I know that's we are very creative and what we can't create causes problems in our psyche. Alright, so there's all my little scraps I'm going to put my transfer paper back on. Done with that. That's going to go back up here in my basket. I've been very proud of myself of how organized I've been. But I really have to be because when you're creating, when you're working, you want to be able just to boom, reach for this and boom, reach for that instead of look for it. And then you get frustrated you can't work on what you're working on. All right. <clears throat> I had a different pencil last night that had a really nice clean eraser head. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure everything comes off correctly. Don't lose any I's or T's or anything. That's one thing you have to watch when you're using off-brand. Uh, when I say off-brand, non-cricket um, materials or, you know, not name brand materials made for doing things like this. Um, you really have to, there are some little hiccups and things like that that you have to deal with. And one of them is um, this transfer paper sometimes um, isn't sticky enough. So you have to be real careful. Again, this is where I'm gonna love my new table that I can stand up at because then I can look over it. Um, because I, this is the part where this is usually in my lap. And you want to start close to the red line because that's how you write on paper. Um, burnish with your this is from Cricut and it's like a little squeegee thing it's hard plastic my only complaint is it scratches vinyl sometimes when you're trying to put your vinyl on your mat and you're trying to you know uh, burnish it down it scratches the vinyl the shiny vinyl and so what I'm going to do is, you know that stuff you put on your feet when your shoes are rubbing your feet? It's that like felt stuff. I'm going to stick some of that on there, I think, so it doesn't scratch my vinyl. That's free. Uh, free, that free stuff there. No charge. All right. Well, man, the moment of truth here. 
Um, one thing I will say about using this matte, uh, putting this vinyl right on the matte finish, um, you really have to make sure that you rub, rub this down really well because it tends not to want to stick really great to this. It sticks better to like a, um, that slick uh, finish that the, the uh, epoxy has. Um, you would think it really would bite to this, but uh, it doesn't. This one's doing much better than, than that other cup did last night. There! Um, let's see. Let's stick this back on here. And it goes in. See? It's not very sticky, so we're just going to throw it in the trash. But it was a dollar. So, I probably won't because I don't know why, but it's probably not going to stick back on these little pieces here. But, like I said, it was a dollar. I wish I could watch this and see y'all's comments at the same time. Moleskin, that's the name of it. Thank you. Well, this S doesn't want to come off. There we go. Okay. You have a bunch of the plastic things you can give me. What plastic things? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? some of these because the the cup turns um, you're going to want to cut little slits so that you can kind of turn the the um, letters a little bit so that they can go the right direction and sit on the line that was another thing that I I wanted to remind myself. The loop side of the Velcro instead of mold skin. Yeah. You could. I don't have somebody that's bringing me that uh, hook and loop stuff though. I like the moleskin idea. It's, I think, going to be softer or something. I don't know. Either way. Either way. Y'all, I got so much glitter in this week. I am so excited. I got like three deliveries of glitter. And, um... I also, I got my nine, nine cubes, uh, what do you call it, storage thing, and I bought two of them from Walmart, and um, they came, they both came at the same time, and um, one of them, I guess they dropped or something, the whole end of it got opened up, and they taped it closed with like two pieces of tape. Um, so I, I, it's going back, or it was going to go back, and uh, I went ahead and opened it because, you know, sometimes that happens, but the stuff is not damaged. So I opened it up, and it wasn't damaged. It's the heart, none of the hardware was there, so that was disappointing. I hate returning stuff. When I order stuff, I want it to be here, and I want to be able to use it. 
So anyway, we called Walmart.com. I'm telling you, you click on that thing where it says um, how you want them to respond to you, email, call, or whatever. I click call, and I no more got done doing that, and my phone rang. And this sweet little Indian man on the other end of that phone was so helpful. And, um, I mean, it was, we weren't on the phone five minutes. He said, no problem, but I have a new one shipped out to you. And it'll be there, at the, I think it's going to be here Thursday. And I asked him what to do with the other one, and he said nothing. So, my hubby is going to try to find some hardware that'll work put the one the broken one together he's so sweet so thoughtful I just I hope it works that seems that's gonna be neat because uh, the funny thing is I was going to order three of them but I just didn't and um, I got them for a really good price they're usually like I don't know $50, $49, something like that. And they were on sale for um, $37, which I think is really good for those things. I'm trying to get this straight here. For some reason, this one's not wanting to cooperate. There we go. All right. Like this one printed differently or something. I don't know. Maybe the cup's a little different. Yeah, something's different. So I'm having to really struggle to get these letters to cooperate. So that's one good thing about these lives is you kind of see the real life struggles when somebody's doing, you know, something like this. Um, you see, you know, when they accidentally dump over the epoxy. Um, no, I've never done that. But uh, <laughs> it wasn't a lot of epoxy. It was only like the leftovers in the bottom, but still, that could have been a whole thing of a pot, a whole um, medicine cup of epoxy. That would have been bad. Dang. But that's what's great about these lives. You get to see the real life uh, struggles doing crafts. So, but y'all don't have to watch the rest of this. It's really just, that's it. Putting these on and that's the end of the cup, really until we do the epoxy. I'm not going to do the epoxy on this video, on this uh, presentation. Um, I will do that on the one that I do the tutorial. I'll have all of that ready and um, the, that way I can film it and you know we can delete the boring stuff and um, just show the pertinent information. But I had so many wonderful responses from my cup. Um, I really wanted to get in there and show y'all because I know some of y'all like to get in there and, and work in your craft rooms at night. So, so here you go. The fun thing is I couldn't find a tutorial on this cup anywhere. I think there was one, but it really didn't show everything. Um, so I was planning on doing a tutorial anyway, uh, but so many people were like, yes, do it, do it, do it. But again, you've got to have a thousand subscribers, so go over to Hospice Nurse 88 all one word, and subscribe, and maybe I'll get a thousand subscribers, and I can do YouTube Live again, because in February, as I said earlier, Somebody was calling me Lacey May. 
I can't answer the phone while I'm doing a live video and my watch is downstairs so I think I will jump off of here and call and make sure everything's okay because A, she doesn't call me a lot. I mean, she calls me. We talk almost every day, but it's a, a weird time for her to be calling. So I think I'll jump off, check on her and the kids. My granddaughter has had a fever, so it might be, might be something about that. Um, again, here's where you're going to have to clip it and maybe even do separate words because the cup is turning um, at a smaller radius and so the words are, um, the transfer paper is kind of buckling up. We will just do separate words here. I wonder if my husband ate dinner. this word on here and then I'm probably going to call it a night so I can give my daughter a call see what's going on hopefully nothing if it was something she would call back I would think. But it's probably to update me on my granddaughter because it's 743 and they just got back from their dad's and she's had a fever over there over the weekend and I won't get into all that but Good golly, Miss Molly. Somebody has a fever, you keep them in and you keep them down. You don't run off to birthday parties. And that is all I'm going to say. Not, not commenting on that anymore. <sighs> so... She hasn't called back. still watching and you're not um, a subscriber to my YouTube, it's Hospice Nurse 88, all one word. And we'll start doing, once I get enough subscribers, we will start doing YouTube lives. And um, be sure to check back on my YouTube because I will be posting some tutorials. And maybe, maybe I should just make myself a Facebook page with that. Hospice Nurse 88, I don't know. Since YouTube has 
gotten all hoity-toity on us. The last piece is going on, other than the little pencil that goes on the back. There. All right, let's put the pencil on the back, and it's done. There we go, all done. The pencil, pencil on the back. Ta-da. Okay, so that's it, and um, I'll see y'all later. Talk to y'all later, I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.